Great to be here today for what is a, another step forward in the implementation of, it, of our Victorian Transport Plan. And I think you've seen over uh, recent times we've uh, continued to make great progress in the, uh, the rollout of our $38 billion Victorian Transport Plan. Uh, just last week we had the opening of the, uh, the North Melbourne uh, escalators with that project on schedule. Uh, Peninsula Link, of course, we've uh, committed to and fully funded. We started work on Regional Rail Express at uh, Southern Cross, platforms 15 and 16. Uh, we've seen the first train arrive from uh, overseas, uh, now being uh, maintained and ready for uh, running out over the network by the end of this year. Uh, we're pushing forward with the extension to South Morang. And of course, on top of all of that, we've announced new operators who will be taking over from uh, later this year. Today, uh, I'm pleased to release the design concepts for a new station which will be based here in what we call the Domain Precinct. There'll be two new stations, there'll be Parkville and there'll be here. I'm very pleased to give Victorians a sneak uh, preview of the, the new station design here uh, at Domain. And it is early days, but as I've said, these design concepts which we'll run through will give you an idea of what the station might look like in the future. I think you'll see it's a pretty exciting design uh, and how it can be properly integrated into some of the surroundings around it. Uh, there is a lot of work that's still to be done. Uh, the final design will evolve over time and it will of course reflect the view of the, uh, the community and stakeholders. And I'm also unveiling today the technical advisory services tender uh, for the, Met the Melbourne Metro Rail Tunnel Project Stage 1. The rail tunnel itself in many ways is, is the centrepiece of that $38 billion Victorian transport plan. Stage 1 of the project will cost more than $4.5 billion and it'll see the construction of the tunnel between Dynan and St Kilda Road uh, to Domain. The tunnel will substantially boost capacity. Uh, it will deliver 14 more trains per hour and carry something like 12,000 additional passengers, opening up the whole of the network and the whole of this CBD area uh, to passengers right across the Melbourne network. And subject to Commonwealth support, stage one of the construction will start in 2012, and you'll see the whole of that project then complete through by 2018. This is an exciting period, I think, in our transport system in Victoria. Uh, we're making the big investments, but most importantly, uh, we're getting on with the job of delivering the projects and building a better transport system. <laughs>